Ovarian cancer has been called the silent killer. It often goes undetected until it's too late. But a team of researchers in Montreal is determined to change that. Dan Halton has the story. One painful surgery and six grueling sessions of chemotherapy behind her, Carol Prigionero considers herself lucky. They saved my life. To me, today I'm here because of them, because of their support. They are the researchers at Montreal's Dove Clinic, short for diagnosing ovarian cancer early. And they caught Prigionero's cancer in time to be treated after her gynecologist kept brushing off her complaints of bloating as menopause. Researchers tested the blood and looked at the ultrasounds of more than 1,400 women with mild symptoms. In the process, Dr. Lucy Gilbert's team discovered something else. Everything they thought they knew about ovarian cancer was wrong. The name, we got it wrong. We got the origin of ovarian cancer wrong. We got the tests that we should be using for this wrong. The researchers found that the most deadly type of ovarian cancer actually starts in the fallopian tubes, not the ovaries. That helps explain why screening hasn't worked. In fact, over the past three decades, the cure rate for the disease has barely improved. Ovarian cancer used to be called the silent killer because by the time women showed any symptoms, the cancer was too far advanced to be treated effectively. Gilbert's study, published in the journal Lancet Oncology, also found women over 50 with mild symptoms of bloating, urinary frequency or discomfort are 10 times more likely to have ovarian cancer than women without symptoms. If you have bloating, uh, pelvic discomfort, urinary frequency, don't think it's the menopause. To help spread that message, researchers are setting up 12 screening clinics across Montreal. The next step is to test a broader sample to learn more about how to catch this disease earlier. Dan Halton, CBC News, Montreal.